and also the director of the Warren Family Research Center for Drug Discovery and Development. With his own drug research and his position now at the helm of a center dedicated to the same cause, Brian is a true force for good and progress in the medical community. Brian, welcome to Notre Dame Day. So you've got, uh, your research has generated drugs that are currently in a clinical trial. And so I wanted to ask you, how do you get to that point? You know, how exactly do you go about researching and then creating a new drug? It, it's a difficult process. Um, a lot of it starts with thinking outside the box, thinking differently about a problem than other people have approached. And uh, in our case, we look at protein folding, which sounds really obscure, but, but it's not. It's really just a simple process, and we look for ways to inhibit it or stimulate it. And the drug that's in phase two clinical trials now is a drug that actually helps proteins fold. And so you can imagine if you have Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's, Huntington's disease, these are all diseases in which you accumulate misfolded proteins in a form of plaques or, or tangles within a brain. And so what you do is you stimulate your body's ability to refold aggregates or proteins that are misfolded. And that's what our drug does, is it refolds uh, misfolded proteins. And in animal models, it works very well in multiple disease states. It's currently in phase two clinical trials for peripheral neuropathy, which is a very common side effect. Most diabetes will get diabetic peripheral neuropathy, and that's its what we're investigating for because it's, it's easier to monitor in clinical trials. Mm -hmm. um, but likewise, we also have a drug that we're getting ready to move into phase one clinical trials for the treatment of glaucoma, which of course is a disease in which you accumulate misfolded proteins in the eye. And so with these eye drops, at least in animals, it works very well. It treats the animals uh, for glaucoma, it reduces uh, intraocular pressure and things like that. And we also, we're heavily focused in the uh, area of cancer and so we're developing compounds that actually inhibit protein folding, which turns out to be very useful to stop cancer growth. Hmm. And so we're hoping to advance those compounds in a clinical trials in the future. So really the whole uh, discovery process is really based on finding something that's unique that other people aren't doing and seeing what you can do with it. In this case, we, we've been very fortunate to uh, make progress in areas that haven't really been well investigated. Yeah, and now tell us a little bit of the work that the uh, Warren Research Center does and how it facilitates your own work in creating these drugs. Okay, so so the Warren Center for uh, Drug Discovery and Drug Development is, is really, it's a new center here on campus. Um, I started here in August, and what I'm trying to do is build a collaborative network. Right now, I've focused the first you know six months I've been here on uh, developing interactions with other faculty on the campus, other centers on campus. Uh, for example, we worked with the Center for uh, Rare and Neglected Diseases, in which we're trying to discover drugs for Neiman Pick disease. We're also looking for drugs for uh, malaria. And so really a lot of it's collaborations and getting people to have faith and confidence in what the Warren Center offers. And right now, what the Warren Center has for the researchers on campus as well as off campus is we have a core where we can make drugs we have a core where we can design drugs. It's more of a computer-based computational core. And then we have another core where you can do biological screening. So you can put these in cells and see how they, they work. And so really we're trying to foster collaborations in effort to get more people engaged in drug discovery on campus as well as off campus. And those are opportunities that I think most universities don't have. Mm -hmm. and, and in this case we have several faculty already engaged in drug discovery on campus. We have Shar uh, Mobashiri, his, him and Malin Chang are phenomenal, Marv Miller. Uh, we've made a couple new hires this year as well. Paul Helquist, Olaf Weiss have been working in Neiman Pick for a long time. So, so it's really a nice collection of researchers. Um, and I think as we continue to build the center, we can be probably the top medicinal chemistry focused department in the, uh, in the country. At least that's what wow. I'm hoping to aspire to. Those are definitely some, uh, some lofty goals, but definitely something I think you can accomplish. Thank you so much for joining us here on Notre Dame Day and for all of the work you've been doing in, uh, in drug research.